a little bit of a sneak peek get things going I want you to hear some of the Scottish Highland cows they got a little bit of different accents than the Wisconsin cows and I'll explain more Here you go. listen talk on birds there you go okay all right folks here we go one zero and they are off there goes Nathaniel once again in his black kit and orange cap and I just realized as I looked at it this time that he has not changed that jersey at all so it's either his lucky jersey but I imagine it's getting pretty funky stinky right now okay folks so where are we we are in uh, Scotland okay new course on Zwift this particular ride I don't know if you saw it in the beginning is the Rolling Highlands route and it is 8.7 miles long with just shy of 350 feet of climbing and this is Nathaniel's first time doing this route I noticed when I was doing the crit the other day they're very very generous with the power-ups as you can see people already deploying power-ups and um, very scenic route indeed a little punchy on some hills and Let's see, what else was I going to say? Oh, look, Tanny's already in a super tuck. How did he? Yeah, he got a super tuck going on already. That's when he gets down low and very aerodynamic and is able to maintain some really good speed and or pick up speed, depending on how long that downhill is. So, um, I'll try to show you as much of this as I can because it is a pretty nice course. It's very scenic. There's those uh, interesting stones over there to the right. Cliffs of whatever with the hexagonal shaped rocks. Whatnot. The cattle here are pretty cattle. They're very nice. It was very funny after I did one of my first routes on this Scotland Zwift land. My YouTube channel popped up with a documentary of Scotland. And it was very interesting and pretty indeed so what else do we know i tried to get a pre-race interview with nathaniel so he was either very focused or just ignored my request for a pre-race interview um, could be because the pre-race interview request started with me cussing because i thought i'd already recorded something on the technologically whatever memos and yeah so that didn't work out so well so he might have been deterred from responding to that because it starts off with grumpy old man stuff. All right, see all those people dropping them thumbs and trying to weigh their other fellow participants down with all that weight in the back of their jersey because those thumbs go to the back of the jersey you see bulge in there. And that's going to slow those folks down. Or make them faster on the downhill, so who knows. Uh, let's see, what else can I do? Ooh, there's a lot of Tron bikes in this race. Look at all those Tron bikes. Any of those bikes you see with glowing wheels and glowing frames are Tron bikes that people have earned for going a certain amount of distance, or not distance, elevation. And then after achieving that certain amount of elevation called Everestine, like Mount Everest, uh, they get those and they're supposed to be the most fast and efficient bikes, and etc. So, around a little roundabout. So again, a 6.7 mile, no, that's not right, 8.7 mile. Let me double check my notes. Yep, 8.7 miles and 347 feet of climbing, I believe. And so I know I want to show you a lot of this, however, comma, battery juice and memory and all that kind of stuff. There's Nathaniel on the left there. Still holding pretty good up towards the front of the pack. Oh, let's, oh yeah, 118 riders in this field. So that's a good size field indeed. Stage one, race Scotland, Roland Highlands. Pausing momentarily, I'll come back if I see Loch Nessie Monster and or some nice castles, what have you. All of this is really pretty nice, but in the interest of time and space. 
coming up on this little village here so I thought I'd come back in for a little bit this is the breakaway bray it is only a little more than a quarter mile but that's a long quarter mile because it climbs and gets steep it takes me over a, oh look at him go yeah it's going Nathaniel uh, it takes me over a minute and a half to do it no I think I got it done in 41 seconds is my fastest time no did I really I don't know yeah god I did didn't I so yeah but it takes a lot of work to do it that fast and people do it of course much faster than I do because you're still climbing still climbing and it ramps up here a bit he's using his arrow power up and then we're going to level back out there is the line right up there and let's see what kind of times these people are pushing uh, 55 seconds okay so i certainly surely didn't do it in 41. um i must be getting mixed up with something else so those guys immediately dropped their arrows i noticed when i was doing the crit route in downtown glasgow they were very very generous with all the power-ups i might have already mentioned that so, okay, I'm going to pause again for a moment. Um, okay, just stopping in for a few moments here. We're about the halfway point. So I thought I'd just drop back in. Daniel's still up there. Still looks like Scotland, mossy and green with big old rocks. What's that James Bond dude name from Scotland? I forgot that guy yeah so okay nice big bridgey thing leading probably to the castle that I saw to the right previously there's another castle no that's big rocks looks like castles pausing again not sure what Nathaniel's doing there but he got up out of his saddle it was a three per still is a three percent grade and he was just like pumping it and getting up there 400 watts and it's always fun to see him way out there front but then of course i didn't think he was trying to do anything i think he was just trying to get up that hill so but i had to get back in here just because he was like way up there there's glass glass go to the left and um that's a fun course a little punchy they got some steep grades in there but they're short and you just hit them hard actually a pretty good workout and then of course there's the intestine as one guy called it on the youtube channel and the intesta whoops, excuse me takes you to, sorry about that takes you to a nice little climb up to skur s g u r r which means high pointed rock or something like that and so that's a fun climb very scenic and yes okay so i'm gonna have to stay through this castle here it's got a nice little look at those cliffs to the left isn't that cool can i no, no it doesn't work like that okay there we go those are cool all right i'm going to pause until we get inside that castle tunnel passage way hi tanny best view of the hexagonal shaped rocks there on the left that i've seen this whole video so i thought i'd come back in just so you can see those i think those are probably real and there's probably a name for it i just don't know what it is if you know what it is, you can put it in the comments on the YouTube comment section there. Let us know. All right. I get some of them Scottish bagpipes. Showing you some fun stuff. We're still two miles from the finish. 8.7 is going to be the finish. But I thought I'd come and do this little segment here. And then after this segment, I will probably go away until the final mile, unless we get to that one castle tunnel part that I think we should do, which sort of curves away from that castle on the left, but I don't think that's the one. I think there is another one. Okay, pausing. All right, now we're coming into that castle segment that I was been talking about. It's when you see the top of that red roof straight ahead, you see that full red roof that's the time to drop your feather power up if you got it because that's when the steepest part is going to hit up to nine percent see that red roof straight ahead now's the time to drop that power up if you got it 
Because as you can see, it went seven, eight, nine, seven, six, blam, blam, blam. Okay. Pause until the final mile. Whoa, we're almost at the final mile. Pausing for a little bit. Okay, this is it, folks. We're at eight miles. We got 8.6, I think I said. And as you can look on the right here, upper right corner, where is it? This thing here, that Peloton is somewhat spread out. So there's been some separation going on. And 8.7, we got six tenths of a mile to go. So hopefully I've got the memory to do all of this, and we're going to hang in it for the duration. No, we're not. I'm going to pause it for a tenth of a mile or two. So they're going to finish on this breakaway Bray, which is a tough way to finish. This is that first one where they first put up some numbers. People are dropping their power-ups. I see drafting going on. I see the arrow. I don't see any feathers. And we're at 8.5, there's two tenths, Nathaniel's already doing over a thousand watts, and he's going to be doing it uphill. He's got somebody going with them, and another one going with them. This is going to be one hell of a finish. He's doing 1,100 watts, and those po folks are staying with him. That guy is scaring me. Go, Tanny, go, dig, dig, dig. Don't let him get you. Take him, take him, take him. Go, Tanny, go, Tanny, go, go, go. All right, so good, solid second place. I mean, that was a hell of an effort. And the dude who beat Nathaniel there has to be pretty good because that was a quite a strong effort. Um, way to go. Second place on the first time on this course, and it's a tough, punchy course. Yes. So, very impressive. Way to go. Okay, let's get this one going. See you on YouTube land.